Hi guys, so to start off this infected glam girl makeup look for Halloween, um, I'm first using a brow pencil to outline the teared skin line that we're going to create. So kind of think of where you want the teared skin to lay and then just outline it. This is just going to really help you to know where to place the tissue and latex later on. Um, and yeah, I thought I was going to do this look because First of all, I'm kind of creeped out by holes, so I thought I needed to add this in a look, which is called trypophobia, by the way, guys. If you're not sure what that is, trypophobia is kind of like a fear of lots of dots or holes, and I have it slightly. I have I don't have it like some who cannot look at it, like my sisters like that, but I thought I would incorporate in a kind of look, so yeah, I hope you guys aren't too creeped out by it. Um, so yeah, after you're out done outlining the teared line, I'm um, just using some glue, so this is like Pritt stick glue, the extra strong one, and I'm using a spatula, I scraped off some amount and I'm just laying down my brows with this, and this one's really good, it just dries super quick. Then you're going to need some latex, liquid latex, I use the one from Krylin and some tissue paper. You want to tear the tissue paper really randomly, it doesn't have to be neat because this adds to the teared effect. And you're going to lay down the tissue along the line you traced out and then you're going to kind of soak your tissue with liquid latex. I get these wedged sponge, wedge, wedge sponges? So if that's how you say it. I get them from Boot and um, they're really helpful when I work with latex because you're going to have to throw them away after and also when we're, when using liquid latex you want to use old clothes because this got all over my clothes and they don't come off, it doesn't come off. So yeah once you've done, you're done doing the liner I take a hair dryer to kind of speed up the drying time. You want each layer to dry and then repeat the process maybe two to three times. I'm also going to do this process on my neck, but as you can see, I'm just following the line I created. I laid down the tissue and then covered it with liquid latex and I did three to four layers of this. And then wait till it's completely dry, use a hairdryer if you need to. And now I'm using some Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder, which is basically a translucent powder. And I'm using this just to mattify the liquid latex and to set it in place. Now I'm going in with some red water activated paint by Krylin. My mind literally went blank there. But anyways, I'm just going in with that to kind of colour correct the liquid latex bit because once I put foundation it's not going to blend with my skin so this helps to colour correct it a bit. Set that with powder and and now I'm going in with some foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Caramel. And I use this foundation because it's a matte foundation. It dries pretty quick. So I didn't. I knew that wasn't going to disrupt the latex bit. So yeah, I would say use a matte foundation. And I'm applying this all over the liquid latex bit. And also on the glam side of the face. Because you want to kind of glam that side up. So I'm just applying foundation as always. And I did also set one layer of the foundation with some some powder because I could kind of see some of the liquid latex showing through as you can see so I set it in place and then I did a second layer of foundation and that seemed to cut the chase and in those stubborn areas where I could still see some orange or white coming through I did use some Tarte Shape Tame concealer and to just to give some extra coverage but as you can see with the second layer it kind of did the job and it blended with my skin perfectly you really don't want to really see the liquid latex line basically because then it's, it's just going to look too obvious so try your best to blend that with your skin and this Wet n Wild foundation is like a full coverage foundation so it worked really really well. But you can use any full coverage matte foundation. So now onto the glam side of the makeup makeup look. Oh my god, now onto the glam side of the face I mean. Um, I'm just filling in my brows with the Bobbi Brown brow pencil. And then I'm using the e.l.f. brow gel to set my brows in place. This is in dark. I'm then going to be applying some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand, which is my favourite concealer of all time. And I'm just applying this on my lids for my eye base and also under my eyes just to brighten up that area and highlight a bit. And also kind of bring it in the inner corner of the eye. It actually helps to blend the, the latex in a bit more. So now I'm using one of my favourite palettes of all time. I'm using my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and I'm using, using the shade Eden. 
and I'm just blending this into my crease. I then grab the shade Blazing and buff this into my crease line, uh, a bit lower than Eden, and I used a bit of Eden afterwards to blend out Blazing. And then I grab the shade Blood Moon, which is literally one of the most buttery found foundations eyeshadows I felt in my life literally I just applied that on my mobile lid and then I grabbed this shade Nefertiti I can't say this name but just pop that on the top and then I grabbed some Oud on the outer V corner and I also applied some shadows on my lower lash line as well and then I'm going in with my Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline you can use falsies if you want to but I just thought I wouldn't this I just really couldn't be bothered to be honest but if you want to add to the glam effect wear some lashes and now I'm using some Topshop bronzer and salute kind of contoured a bit and then I use this makeup revolution strobing powder and give myself a bit of a glow you know and yeah that was the glam side done it wasn't too hard it's actually quite quick because literally it's a quarter of your face but anyways after that you want to go on to the teared line that we created with the liquid latex and what i'm doing is i'm peeling the outer half of it off my skin so you don't want to peel all of it off just literally the half of it off basically if that makes sense i'm so bad at explaining explaining guys this is why this is, I say this all the time I'm sorry but <laughs> I'm trying my best anyways as you can see I'm trying to tear it up in pieces so try to make it look as much as teared skin as possible so if you see any like squared bits or like straight bits you don't want that because teared skin is not really straight it's like all rough and rigidy and now I'm going in with some snazzy face paint in black this is just a black cheap face paint which is water activated and I just covered the um, under bit of the latex that we did the perimeter basically and here I'm just using some putty from Cryolin and I thought this was quite hard to work with but I actually kind of enjoyed it so you want to flatten it up lay it on your cheek get it you can have this as big or small as you want and then use your finger to lay down down the edges and blend it with your skin so I like to use my finger first with this and try to and as you kind of do this it will stick to your face and then I grabbed my spatula and created a cut in the putty and I also use that to blend the edges like really really blend the edges and this just blends with the skin I mean with this look it really really doesn't matter if you do blend it with the skin because we use something that was very textured around it anyways but let's say you are doing this on like a clean face and you want to look it like make it look like a normal human being and that your skin's like cut or infected then using a spatula really really helps so now on to the trypophobia part, this is my favourite part, I was getting grossed out myself, you can see, but anyways, I used a really small um, brush that had a really small like precise tip, and I used this to dig into the putty, and I, as I'm digging in, I twisted it a bit, just to create the holes, and try to make the holes as random as possible, some big, some small, like, it just looks more realistic. And then once you're done with that, I did grab some liquid latex and apply that on the perimeter of the putty and also a light layer on the top. And this is just going to help set the putty. Um, there is this thing called Fix A that you're supposed to put on it to seal the putty, but I don't have that. But if you want to go all out, then definitely get that stuff. But I still have this on, on me now as I'm doing this voiceover and it's held up pretty well. But you want to use a hairdryer and dry the liquid latex and I also mixed some brown snazzy face paint with my Cryolin red face paint and by the way all my face paints are water activated and I just use that to kind of fill in the whole area in the within the Ted skin area oh my goodness <laughs> um but yeah and then after that I'm using some black face paint and I'm filling in the holes that we created to create some depth and the contrast with the black and the red makes it look even more nasty and i also did use some ben Nye, i think it was scab blood i think it was scab blood 
I will link it in the info box by the way guys but I used some of that to fill in the holes it was basically very thick blood and yeah it just made the holes look even more realistic you don't have to do this but I think it added to the effect and once you're done with that I did use some solid salt or like rock salts and I mixed that with a bunch of scab blood and that created this really thick texturized blood kind of thing and I think this made the skin look burnt slash a, a braise like kind of like cut up I just feel like it really added to the effect so have red or like a deep red as your base and then apply this all over your skin and honestly like this stuff dries really well so like it doesn't really fall and it just stays in place so you're good to go to have your hair down or hair up it doesn't like it's really sticky at first but then after a while it does dry which i'm so happy about <laughs> um like right now i can touch my face because it's just all dried up i did apply some on the holes that we created as well and here I'm just applying my contact lenses, these are from Mesmerize, I'll write the colour in the info box, um, but I have to be honest, I did not, I couldn't see, I couldn't see with my right eye, what's the point of having contact lenses if you can't see? Like I can't imagine having these on both eyes, honestly. But now I'm just creating some worms with the excess putty I had, and yeah, you can do as many as, of these as you want, and I just stuck them in the holes. Um, I just rolled it out like you know as you would do in, with play-doh and just stuck them in the holes They kind of stick because the scab blood is in there But if you don't have scab, scab blood you can use liquid latex to glue them down And then finally I did use some red and brown paint to kind of make the teared skin look irritated and inflamed and I did this on the perimeter of it like along the line and yeah that's how you create this look guys I hope you really enjoy this video please give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you next time bye